What came first, the turkey or the egg? <laughs> Slide. <laughs> okay. Um, there are many parades in New York. Uh, there are many holidays, and for every, almost every holiday there's a parade. Some of them are incredibly well, or anyhow, inc incredibly organized and author uh, full of authority, etc., like the Halloween parade, unfortunately, and like the Macy's parade. And then there are other parades, like the promenade that's on Fifth Avenue for, for Easter Sunday, which is, for those that are still somewhat religious in this city, um, a celebration uh, and a way to bedeck yourself and, and uh, flounce up and down the avenue um, to celebrate this curious concept of the, the rising of the undead that has transmogrified into a bunny that brings eggs. <laughs> so I wanted to be part of that. I wanted to give legs to the mythos, the ethos and the heroes, uh, and, and I also hope that I might become a, um, a centerfold in the daily news. <laughs> so, uh, so I came as a bird, and, um, and next slide, uh, dragging my two children uh, behind me, kept all my eggs in two baskets. I'm standing in the wrong place. Um, and um, next, please. Um, these, these are my parents uh, wondering uh, where they went wrong. <laughs> All that money for my education. <laughs> this is what that comes up with. Um, and then, next, uh, finally, standing in front of St. Pat Tricks Cathedral, I am posing as Henry Kissinger. <laughs> so, um, that being said, uh, next please. This is my Thanksgiving turkey, <laughs> which has had a long and glorious and also peripathetic past. Um, it has appeared in a cookbook in Britain for, to illustrate um, a, a, a recipe on how to stuff a bird. Also to illustrate a cookbook in this country uh, called Mmm Mmm A Fissier by Ruth Reichel under Squawk on the Wild Side. <laughs> but first and foremost, it was the beleaguered entrant in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> However, um, the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade is not something that comes easily. If you stay up many nights in a row, to design, construct, and pay for a costume emblematic of the parade, theoretically, um, to perform on, on Thanksgiving Day, missing in a light rain, missing, missing uh, Thanksgiving dinner with friends and relatives, you are persona non grata in that particular parade. And uh, so the referees called foul play to my foul ploy and hauled my ass out of there. It seems as if you have to wear a badge on your, over your heart and over your left shoulder that indicates, one, that you're wearing one of the badly designed and constructed costumes that Macy's makes, two, that you're a paid employee, and three, that you have no talent at performing. <laughs> so I didn't modestly fit any of those things. So um, I entered the parade, and, uh, and they sort of sussed me out pretty, pretty, uh, with some alacrity, and uh, hauled my, my poultry ass out. Um, the second year, they sort of um, remembered this turkey. And I was doing such heinous things as, as um, dancing along at the end of the Rockettes, you know, trying to emulate their <laughs> movements, you know. It, it, could have been, it could have been twerking before it was uh, either popular or profitable, but, um, or, you know, dancing with the McDonald's French Fried All-American Band, um, trying to do those steps, and, I, you know, the, the crowd was modestly amused, but the authorities at large were not, and, <laughs> So again, right before the television cameras, they, they apprehended me and threw me out. It's the third and last time that I performed in the Macy's fascist organization. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, but no thanks given. 
uh, they prayed. <laughs> they had sent a memo out about this turkey. <laughs> and, um, and so I, I, would, I would be dancing away and then I would see the cops coming out of the side of my eyes and then I would wave, flap my, my wings at the crowd and the crowd would open and I would run into the crowd and then the crowd would close and I would hide them <laughs> until, until, you know, until the fuzz was away. And, and so then I would open and I would run back out again and it was, you know, like a Keystone cop kind of thing which I enjoy immensely, I must say. <laughs> Until the last moment, again, right before the television cameras, um, I, a platoon of fucking cops came <laughs> after me. You know, there were 10 cops. They, in, they in, 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 in enclosed me in, in a flying wedge and uh, drove, and you know, I saw like helicopters above, you know, <laughs> submarines in the gutter and stuff. I mean, this is serious, and I, they jammed their way through the crowd, took me into the subway station, down the stairs, through the gates free, and into a uh, car and waited until the car, the train, was out of the station before they finally bid this particular <laughs> turkey adieu. <laughs> and that was, in fact, the last time I've given thanks on that particular day in that area. <clears throat> However, um, uh, for a long, long time, for over 40 years, I've lived uh, in a wild and woolly place, uh, which <laughs> was wild and woolly downtown, uh, named Tribeca. Uh, now it's not particularly affectionately named Triburbia. <laughs> but for most of that time, I would, um, on most days, I would run down to the battery, um, and um, and I, at one point, I discovered a wild turkey in the ba in Battery Park, and I was astonished because. Uh, <laughs> It was a wild turkey. It was long. It was proud. It was thin. <laughs> and uh, it had all this gravitas, and it was there. And I was like, what, the, what are you doing here? And he never told me, but um, you know, he was there clucking and strutting. And, and I've seen him many times since then. He, he likes to hang out uh, in the parking lot behind Gigino's, this Italian restaurant that's down there by the two-story whatever it is edifice. <laughs> And, um, you know, like all true New Yorkers likes Italian food. And, uh, but, but anyhow, he's, he's there. I understand he's summers in, in, in Governor's Island. Um, but the other day I was just down there and I saw him again. And, and it was such, I mean, <laughs> it was early in the morning and he was there, you know, fearless, undaunted. And I thought, here we are, two turkeys, <laughs> far, far away from any kind of celebration on 34th Street. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.